Happy birthday, Jesus. Oh, happy birthday, Jesus. Happy birthday, Jesus. Happy birthday, son. No matter what anybody say or push you through, just remember Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, God Almighty, got you. You watching over you and your sisters and brothers too. And those you call your friends or whatever. I've been praying for you. I pray your day be good, great, excellent. And you will glorify God to draw others close to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior over their life. Because the blessings on your life. Amen. Man, I pray you enjoy your 10 years. Living on this wild earth. And you know I miss you. You already know that, right? But you remember what I touch. Just be good, okay? And your definition of good, I'm pretty sure you already know what that is. If not, you, you know how to do what you gotta do, man. <laughs> Trust me on that. Now, let's pray and read out loud, because, uh, that's important, man. That's important. Okay. Grandma time. Yeah. Uh, that's important. And, but before I get to uh, praying and reading, um, people don't know know about it, bro, and don't expect them to. Like. If Jesus Christ's last words only uh, uh, only uh, hanging from the tree with God, Father, please forgive them, for they know not what they do. Right before he said, or right before, right before he said it is finished, which was the last word before he gave up the ghost. But before he said it is finished, he, he looked at the father and said, Lord, please forgive them, for they know not what they do. That is my response to my enemies. I, I, I can forgive you, but you still got to deal with God's wrath, okay? I, that's why I was praying that you would repent, okay? Because you don't... Separate me from these children, and they know the real true light when they see it in the dark world. So, I want to pray not just for my son to have a blessed new chapter, but I want to pray that the love God has for me will overflow in this life to those around him so that they don't hurt him. To make me have to come out the woods somewhere and come looking for y'all because you hurt him. I, 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 I'm praying that God will restore everything he loves because God is restoring my life, everything I love. So I'm praying the same prayer for, for my son and those around him to quickly catch on the calling of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, okay? Because these enemies are finished. They don't have no more time, okay? Their time been there, okay? God just playing with them, giving them a delusion to go after you, thinking it's the truth, okay? Because that's what they've been doing to God's people, lying to them, manipulating them, trapping them. Same thing they did all the evil to me, they're going to try to do to you, son. And those that went. So I'm gonna pray this prayer that Father God, we come to your humbly, we come to your throne, your gracious throne, your righteousness and merciful throne. Will give us the opportunity to humble ourselves, but come to you boldly, being thankful for all the gifts you bestowed in us to share with those around us about how good Jesus Christ is in our life. 
And I pray you continue to give us the spirit of serving those who don't believe so that they will come to believe when they least expect it. And I pray that those who are against Jesus Christ be cut off right now. And I pray that those who are surrounded by DJ on this day, that they will have his best interest and treat him as the young king in the making he already is. That you are doing the same with me on this day going forward. Pastor. I pray for every child who feels neglected or unwanted or unloved, that your love through this prayer will wrap all through them. Warm them up. Beam them up with a shocking they've never known could exist from the inside flowing up. Please comfort them as you comfort me through these hard times, being without them. You kept my mind stayed on you, Lord Jesus, because you said that was more important than going after the people who separated me from DJ. And thank you for that gift of staying focused on you. So I pray that focus will wrap up the others so that they will get back to getting in their purpose to glorify you, Father God. Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, please align my heart to those who are lost. That way it will help them when I pray this prayer quickly to get back to calling on Jesus Christ. Before you arrive, take them out and it's too late. As far as those who are already against you, Lord Jesus, thank you for separating me from you and destroying their plan, plot, scheme, and confusing and frustrating every attempt to hurt another person. And thank you for having them fall in their own destruction they have set for others who don't deserve it. I pray you get the glory out of that too. And I pray for those who are in these so-called churches, these buildings, doing abomination things, that you will call them out so that they don't hurt another innocent person and blame it on God. Because our Father who art in heaven is always good. It is his creation who choose not to want to be good. So I pray that through this prayer, that the urgency and the conviction will be enough to ask the angels to continue protecting DJ and those around him who has his best interest. Same thing with my life and those around me who has my best interest. And I pray for those who throughout this whole earth that they will stop acting like they are God over people and humble themselves to our holy God. The real true Father who will chastise and correct us on his time on how he sees fit. And I pray that they will be obedient and disciplined to that chastisement. So that they don't get the wrath of God, but the love of God. And that it will rain all through their temple to be loved toward one another. The true act of a Christian. And not doing it for, for evil or wicked agendas, but pulling down all strongholds of darkness, every last one. Thank you for this opportunity to pray this prayer to show the power of your true living holy hand protecting us, destroying the evil while you are protecting us. Wherever we go, people feel that power. Please continue destroying the works of darkness, Christ, so that DJ can raise and rise up to glorify our Heavenly Father together as we were blessed and ordained to do in the first place. And I pray for every woman who is lost, 
before your arrival come that they get back to calling on Jesus Christ so that they can be found and set up in position to be the great women, the great life giver that gives birth to a godly nation. I ain't say hypocritical nation. I say a godly nation. That means they know the works of the Lord Jesus Christ. And they want to do the works of the Lord Jesus Christ. And they want to make sure those around them understand why they doing it. And to do it with them. According to his riches and glory. As he sees fit for his camp. And thank you for the reading of the book of Daniel. And Proverbs chapter 20 on this day. I pray it be a miracle. And that none of your goodness return to you void, but be fulfilled a hundred million fold. For all those who lost important things, I thank you for restoring them with your things. So that they don't lose focus on the important thing, which is the relationship with our creator son. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who gives us life and teaches us how to live this life. To destroy the works of darkness and be the light in those dark places. I pray you be glorified in every word read in both these chapters, in both these books. And I pray that it will fulfill the hearts of those listening and paying attention. We give them peace that passes all understanding. Most of all, that they will feel brave and not fearful of the unknown. Because we know the unknown is Jesus Christ who is known. And I pray that those who don't know him before you arrive, come Lord, that they will cling to him right now. Let these people know I have no thoughts or intentions of wanting to see them get hit by your wrath. So please let them know that. But if that's the choice they make, please comfort my heart to accept it and move on. And I pray for all true marriages who got married because of Jesus Christ and not anything opposite of that. That they will continue being edified, strengthened, to continue to love one another and be about that love spreading to those others so that they can have hope that they have a loved one too according to a holy God. Not man-made agenda, confusion, manipulation, but to show that all those things that mankind think he can do without the Holy Spirit. Lord, I thank you for the supernatural gift you put on display to others to show that the Holy Spirit is better than mankind's sneaky agenda. And thank you for using me to read to your people and being a blessing to them spiritually, taking care of them naturally. Nothing less. Please be adopted, glorified, uplifted. Nothing less. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Good. Oh, here we go, y'all. Grandma time. Grandma time. Good. I love you, DJ. You already know that, son. Have fun. Be a child. Enjoy your enjoy your youth. Okay. Let no one despise your youth. Okay? But be obedient to those already ahead of you. Pay attention. Okay? Just don't forget to pray while you following the instructions. Okay? So you don't feel you being led astray. And if you feel you being led astray, pray. Or come to this channel and, 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 and listen. Okay? Because you know God loves you, and he's watching over you. Happy birthday. Good. All right, so we're going to read down.
I already had the thing in there. <laughs> And we're going to be done. And that's on page 12, 14. 1,214. You know what's funny about that? I was born on the 12th. You was born on the, on the year 2014. Man. See, already the Holy Spirit hit me. And, 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 and I heard something. I felt some vibration when I said that. So that confirmation to every enemy, you better not touch, man, you better not touch another child than one way. Woo, you better not do that. All right, so in the book of Daniel, which we already prayed to read, I'm going to read the introduction because it has one. And we're going to go right into the first chapter. And I'm going to reread it tomorrow because tomorrow is the first. Well, it, it, well the 21st. Okay. All right. And we read Proverbs chapter 20 today and 21 and then stay in the line. Okay. That way you equip. Okay. Because you, you still need to eat your spiritual food. So you stay lit. Same way your, your your natural body needs food. The Holy Bible is good food. Okay? Now what they doing with it, and God not getting the glory out of it, that's on them. Okay? They choose for that to happen. Not this man over here. Okay? They, they, <laughs> they done messed up giving me the, uh, the chance to do it. Okay? Hey, they messed up. They been... They've been trying to stop me from getting it up my whole life. But they forgot they won't get blessed by them doing it, man. So, yeah, they done messed up getting me in position to uh, read to you. Because all I'm doing is reading and dancing, right? And they can't even handle those two things. So imagine with us, about to, we about to get into, that they can't handle. Cookie, dude, that part. So... Daniel, B A N I E L. Okay. On page 12, 14. Now, the book of Daniel is right after the book of Ezekiel. E Z E K I E L. Okay. Now, if you ain't read the book of Ezekiel, you should do that too on your own time. I'm not rushing you to do it. Like I said, because people keep trying to put this Holy Bible in the order, right? The only order is Old Testament and New Testament, okay? But the order of how it comes about is not exactly a chronological order. That's why I say when you come to the Holy Bible, you need to understand this is an eternal book. This is forever, okay? 2024, 2050, whatever. Whatever it is. It's forever, okay? Now, how you apply and align yourself in the Holy Spirit with the truth, that's what matters. That's why I can't nobody touch me because I've been doing this since my first heartbeat. I called on Jesus. Oh, you're going to call on Jesus when you see a bunch of demons surround you, okay? Pretending like they not demons. Oh, you can Jesus, Jesus. And you wondering why I cling to Jesus, okay? Cause these demons don't don't they don't get it, okay? They don't get it, okay? <laughs> they don't get it. They want to still kill and destroy you. So call him Jesus, okay? You already know man. He, he just wanna hear you do it cause he's not gonna force himself on you. Okay? Alright, so the book of Daniel is saying Daniel identifies himself several times as the author of this book, period. It was written about 537 B.C. The book of Daniel appears to be made up of two separate parts, period. The first six chapters tell about Daniel, comma, and the second six chapters contain the prophecies related through Daniel, period. Several 
well-known stories found in Daniel include the three young men delivered from the fiery furnace. Parenthesis, chapter 3, close parenthesis, comma, the handwriting on the wall, open parenthesis, chapter 5, close parenthesis, comma, Daniel in the lion's den, open parenthesis, chapter 6, close parenthesis, comma, and the prophecy of Daniel's 70 weeks, open parenthesis, Open parenthesis, chapter 9, close parenthesis, period. Roman numerals 1. Daniel's early life, comma. Roman numerals 2. Daniel's prophecy, comma. And it stopped where it did. So the title ended up, it say Daniel and, uh, Well, friends, is this friends? F R I E N D S. Daniel and friends in the King's Court. C O U R T. So, Daniel and friends in the King's Court. That's the title before we go into the first verse of chap chapter one. So, y'all ready? Give me a second, because there. Ready? Verse 1. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, forgive me if I ain't pronounce that right, please forgive me. Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem, come on, and besieged him. Period. Verse 2. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand, comma, with part of the vessels of the house of God, comma, which he carried into the land of Shinar, to the house of his God, lowercase g, semicolon. And he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his God, lowercase g, period. Verse 3. And the king spake unto Ashpenaz, the master of his eunuch, comma, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel, comma, and of the king's seed, comma, and of the prince, semicolon. Verse 4. Children in whom was no blemish, comma, but well favored, comma, skillful in all with, comma, and cunning in knowledge, comma, and understanding, science, comma, and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace, comma, and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the child in. Period. Verse 5. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat, comma, and of the wine which he drank, comma. So nourishing them three years, come, that at the end thereof they might stand before the king. Pray, verse 6. Now among these were the children of Judah, comma, Daniel, comma, Hananiah, comma, Mishael, comma, and Azariah, comma. Verse 7. Unto whom the prince of the eunuchs gave name, comma, for he gave unto Daniel the name of Belteshazzar, Belteshazzar, semicolon, and to Hananiah, comma, of Shadrach, semicolon, and to Mishael, comma, of Meshach, semicolon, and to Azariah, comma, of Abednego, period. Verse 8. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, comma, nor with the nor with the wine which he drank, comma. Therefore, he requested of the prince of the eunuch that he might not defile himself. Period. Verse nine. Now God had brought 
Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuch. Period. Verse 10. And the prince of the eunuch said unto Daniel, Come on, I fear my lord the king, Come on, who hath appointed your meat and your drink. Come on, for why should he see your faces worse liking than the children which are of your sort? Question mark. Then shall ye make me in danger my head to the king. Pay. Verse 11. Then said Daniel to Melzar, comma, whom the prince of the eunuch had set over Daniel, comma, and Anaya, comma, Mishael, comma, and Azariah, comma. Verse 12. Prove thy servant, comma, I beseech thee, comma, ten days, semicolon, and let them give us hearts to eat, comma, and water to drink. Period. Verse 13. Then let our countenances be looked upon before the come, and the countenance of the children that eat of the portion of the king's meat come. And as thou seest, come, deal with thy servant. Period. Verse 14. So he consented to them in this matter, come, and proved them ten days. Period. Verse 15. <clears throat> ten days, ten years. Cookie, God is not playing. I, I'm, I'm lunching, y'all, but y'all get the point. God always give you a connection. That's how you know the Holy Spirit working. Okay. Verse fifteen. And at the end of ten days, their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh. Then all the children which dare eat the portion of the king's meat. Period. Verse 16. Thus, Melzar took away the portion of their meat, comma, and the wine that they should drink, semicolon, and gave them post. Period. Verse 17. As for these four children, one, two, three, four. As for these four children, excuse me, hold on, y'all. Woo, every time I'm reading, y'all, let me repeat verse 14. So he consented to them in this math, comment, and proved them 10 days. Pay, verse 15. And at the end of ten days, their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. Period. Verse 16. Thus, Melzar took away the portion of their meat, and the wine that they should drink, semicolon, and gave them pulse. Period. Verse 17. As for these four children, God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and with calling, and Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. All. Okay, that's the key word. All. And that's some that no, all. Keep that in your heart. Period. Verse 18. Now at the end of the day that the king had said he should bring them in, Colin, then the prince of the eunuch brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar, period. <clears throat> Verse 19, And the king communed with them, semicolon, and among them all was found none like Daniel, comma, Hananiah, comma, Mishael, comma, and Azariah, comma. Therefore stood they before the king, period. Verse 20, And in all matters of wisdom, and understand, comma, that the king inquired of them, comma, he found them ten minutes, I mean, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in all his realm. Period. Let me repeat that, verse 20. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding, comma, 
that the king inquired of them, comma, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in all his realm. Period. Verse 21. And Daniel continued even until the first year of King Cyrus. Period. Chapter 2. Man. What if I was to say that King Cyrus was the same person y'all trying to put in jail now? Like Donald Trump. Yeah, cause you can tell Donald Trump know how to free black people. But yet black people don't want to free black people. Because it was God's own people that betrayed God. But a King Cyrus, like a, a Donald Trump who loved black people, that can't be ignored. Because everybody knows who Trump is. Even though they don't know him personally, they know who he is, okay? That could be the King Cyrus today, okay? But what if I said, what if I said that, would you believe me? Whether you do or don't, here's my thing. This Holy Bible can be subjected and used at any time. That's why I tell y'all, when you go to it, Pray, ask for the Holy Spirit to guide you. Because it's going to hit you and you're not even going to be expecting it. That's the mirror of everyday living on this earth, okay? This is the mirror to your everyday living on this earth, okay? Because in heaven is already established, okay? It, it's the coming down on this earth that you have to understand. Just get in alignment with the word. You feel me? So, before you stop reading, make sure you go back and reread with the Holy Spirit again, okay? Get that equipment in there, okay? That army is letting you know don't be pressed to eat from the from the hands of kings and queens. And, and Humble yourself. Learn how to eat vegetables. Okay, real vegetables. Okay, I know, let's be real. It, food that's supposed to be food that's not food, that's why I smoke and drink. Okay, because you got to burn whatever it is that's not real food out of you. Okay, and I'd rather do that by smoking and drinking than not at all and just leaving that stuff sitting in there making me sick and worse. That's what's going on with the people out here. They're drinking that water that's not real purified water and they eating this food that's not real food. We got to get back to farming for real food. Growing our crop the correct way without all that chemicals and man. God is about to clean up and, and, and start fresh and clean. First you're going to get rid of all the stuff that's causing us to go through these things. That's what's going on now. You stop waiting the wheat from the tears. So the tears going to end up in the lake of fire, and then we can start to work again to growing crop, growing food, being a godly family that take care of each other and not be trying to take out each other. Okay? That part. So, Proverbs. Go back to the yeah, Proverbs chapter 20. So happy Tuesday, happy taco, a spaghetti Tuesday to you. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, uh, some good food right here. Everywhere. So, y'all yeah, yeah, know I can't leave y'all out there dumbfounded, but cause your value is. It's too precious, so whether you think so or not. <laughs> Woo. I keep telling y'all, God jealousy over his creation, I can't mess that, but don't even try. He got a whole ancient ancient years of living before we got here. He got a whole thing set up. Waiting for you to ask any type of question. Just waiting. 
Just waiting. There's an answer to all your questions in the Holy Bible, King James Version. That's the Holy Bible. All right, so we in Proverbs, P-R-O-V-E-R-B-S, chapter 20. Good. BJ, 2-20-2014. Ten years later, 2024. You 10 years old. I'm going to say this before I read. I pray whatever you were taken from you, that God will restore it back to you. According to your faith in Jesus Christ, doing it for you. In the midst of everyone around you, your haters, your actual supporters, you know what I mean? Just keep in mind, keep Jesus Christ first, the focus of your attention. That way, everything else fall in alignment, in place. Because just be obedient to instructions before you, and you can't go wrong. You can't. Because that's what got me here to this day. Okay? What was before me gave me instructions. And when I followed it, they kept going. Even though they were trying to take me out and destroy me, because I'm an obedient person, God kept me. God keeps those who obey his will. He does. Because he needs that to show others who he is. You feel me? All right, so, Proverbs chapter 20, the uh, the title is say, Moral uh, Virtues, V-I-R-T-U-E-S, Moral Virtue and uh, Contrary uh, Vices, V-I-C-E-S. Moral virtues and contrary vices. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity to come to your throne one more time and give you all the praise and glory for the opportunity to read your word to your people so that they will be edified, strengthened, united, and coming together as one to defeat all evil and wickedness. So that you may be uplifted and draw all men into you because you were uplifted. Through the reading out loud of your word on this day, I pray that your miracles will continue sweeping all your creation off their feet. Getting them back on track and then renewing their mind and their heart towards you. So that they can understand their value and purpose. Even though they've given up hope. I pray that as we read your word, full of hope, that they would gain the hope again to call on Jesus. Before your wrath, Father God, takes them out. Thank you for this opportunity to be of help and a blessing. To yell and scream and remind your people, get back to Jesus in Jesus' name. We thank you for everything that will happen in your miraculous way, seen or unseen that you will be glorified and lives will be saved from going to hell because we read and prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God. Amen again. Good. All right. So, moral virtue and contrary vices. Good. Y'all ready? Give y'all a second. Get there. Lord, I, Lord, I. Verse 1. Cook. Here we go. Wine is a market. Coming. Strong drink is raisin. Coming. And whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. So be smart with your drinking. Period. Verse 2. The fear of a king is as the ruin of a lion. Coming. Whoso provokes him 
to anger sinners against his own soul. P. Verse 3. It is an honor for a man to cease from strife. Okay. But every fool will be meddling. Okay. Verse 4. The slugger will not plow by reason of the code. Therefore shall he beg and harvest and have net pay. Verse 5. Counsel in the heart of man is like deep water. But a man of understanding will draw it out. P. Verse 6. Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness. But a faithful man who can find. Question mark. Verse 7. The just man walketh in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. P. Verse 8. A king that sitteth in the throne of judgment gathereth away all evil with his eyes. Period. Verse 9. Who can say, I have made my heart clean. I am pure from my sin. Question mark. Verse 10. Divers weights, and divers measures, both of them alike abomination to the Lord. Period. Verse 11. Even a child is known by his doing. Comma. Whether his work be pure, comma, and whether it be right. Period. Verse 12. The hearing is, comma, and the seeing eye, comma, the Lord hath made even both of them. Period. Verse 13. Love not sleep, comma, lest thou come to poverty. Semicolon. Open thine eyes, comma, and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. P. Verse 14. It is not, comma, it is not, comma, saith the Bible, comma, but when he had gone his way, comma, then he boasted. P. Verse 15. <coughs> Good. There is gold, comma, and a multitude of rubies, comma. But the lips of knowledge are a precious Jew. P. Hold on, y'all heard. Every time. Verse 16. Take his garment that is surety for a strange cousin, and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. P. Verse 17. Bread of deceit is sweet to a man, semicolon. But afterward, his mouth shall be filled with gravel. Pill. Verse 18. Every purpose is established by counsel, and with good advice make war. Period. Verse 19. He that goeth about as a tailbearer revealeth secret, curly. Therefore, meddle not with him that flattereth with his lips. Period. Verse 20. Whoso curseth his father or his mother, comma, his lamp shall be put out in the obscure darkness. Period. Verse 21. An inheritance may be gotten hastily at the beginning. Semicolon. But the end thereof shall not be blessed. Y'all thought that when I finished reading that uh, verse 20, right? So that might be serious. If you're a child cursing your parents, pray for them. Don't curse them, okay? Because then you're missing your blessing. Be obedient to them, even though they get on your nerves. Be obedient. I know I, I've been through that. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm your number one witness on that, okay? Even when they not good parents, you still got, you know, whoso curses his father or his mother, come when his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. Period. I ain't cursing my parents out. They try to curse me out, okay? That's the difference. All right, verse 21. That's the difference. They didn't want me to be who I was to them. The blessing God sent to bless them. Verse 21, here we go. An inheritance 
may be gotten hastily at the beginning. But the end thereof shall not be blessed. So whatever people get quick, they're going to leave quick. Period. Verse 22. Say not thou, comma, I will recompense evil, semicolon, but wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord, comma, and he shall save thee. Period. Verse 23. <clears throat> Divers wait are an abomination unto the Lord, semicolon, and the false violence is not good. Period. Verse 24. Man going are as the Lord, semicolon. How can a man then understand his own way? Question one. Verse 25. It is a snare to the man who devours that which is holy. Common. And after vows to make inquiry. Period. Verse 26. A wild king scatters the wicked. Scatters the wicked. Common. And brings it the will over them. Period. Verse 27. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. Common. Searching all the inward parts of the belly. Period. Verse 28. Mercy and truth preserve the king. Common. And his throne is upholding by mercy. Period. Verse 29. The glory of young men is their strength, Colin, and the beauty of old men is the gray hair, period. Verse 30. The blueness of a wound cleanses away evil, Colin. So do strike the inward part of the belly, period. Right at the end of Proverbs chapter 20. Oh. So I'm learning that those who out here uh, tricking people, manipulating people, that's diverse ways. You know how you're supposed to put something on the scale to get the exact price and all that. You got a lot of uh, den of thieves out here. <laughs> you got a whole lot. Okay. Don't worry about that. They're they gonna get they gonna get caught in their own cunning and craftiness. Just pray you are protected from it coming near you or you been around it while it's happening. Okay? I pray God covers you with a cloak of righteousness and you become blameless and honest in his eyes, in the midst of those who are not honest and righteous and pure heart toward Jesus Christ. And those he loves. Amen. You are protected. I know you are. And if you hurt, share it. Because I did. And you know I cry every day for y'all. To get it. Please get it right. You can't miss when you call on Jesus Christ. And actually follow his instruction. Okay. I don't care how much fighting you got. You know. Fighting you got to do. To push your will. Away. To do his work. Just know I'm here to remind you. If you don't. Hell is waiting for it. Okay. And you do not want that. Okay. You you do not want that. So. I pray you are healed. Fulfilled. If not. Go back. And we read it. After you pray. For the Holy Spirit. Okay. Don't be reading God's word. Without his Holy Spirit. Okay. No. <laughs> That's like eating food with no flavor. Okay, that's why. <laughs> hey, I'm just getting hit with the Holy Spirit. He said that, that's the same thing with these fake churches. Oh my <laughs> he hit me right there. <laughs> I'm like, wow. So they've been doing all that without the Holy Spirit. Just to get just to get blind for not calling on the Holy Spirit correctly. See, they forgot what they did behind closed doors is what was gonna be 
the miracles out in the urban. So they can't get mad at me because I don't know what they were doing behind closed doors. I don't care. Okay, I, I'm not the one, you know what I mean? But you wanted to know what I was doing behind closed doors. And that's praying for your life, right? While you trying to kill me, I'm praying for you to have life, but you don't want me to have nothing, including life. So that's why I'm where I'm at, y'all, because God saw that and he didn't like that. So you can't get mad at me because I love my father as he loved me. That ain't my fault you ain't do your loving. That ain't my fault, you know? I told you, it's person. He's a holy, jealous God, okay? There ain't nothing getting past that, man, okay? Nothing. N not one thought you think is getting past that, man. Nothing. That's why I, when I share y'all one, and you looked at it like, I'm supposed to do that? Like, like, like you was entitled for me to do that? Instead of just embracing me doing that and you reciprocating, we both building? You a jealous hater, man. In front of the eyes of a jealous God who loved me, sent me to you to love on you. And the first thing you do is this the blessing you need for God to love on you. That ain't my fault, man. I, I did my part. I make sure I do my part. You know why? I don't want no lake of fire. You can have that, bro. I don't want that, man. <laughs> man. Excuse my language, but I love pussy too much to be thinking about playing with a lake of fire, bro. These women know what true love is. They know, man. They just felt they had to settle for life because they didn't. They didn't think God was really God. And I was trying to tell them, growing up, while they been my teacher, ladies, stop being silly, calling on Jesus. You feel the difference. Now all of a sudden y'all want to do it, but I've been I've been wanting y'all my whole life. Do it now. Do it as I'm getting the earth, okay? Because I don't want my son around evil women that men you to keep him bound in, in evil, wicked things, okay? I, I don't want my son around no evil women, okay? Nah. And, and that's why I pray that prayer that, that these women would stop being silly with these evil, wicked men and get back in place. Know your power, eh? Yeah? Cook all right, so I'm not even going to stress that. Happy birthday, DJ. Enjoy it. I pray you and your, your siblings getting along. If they haven't turned y'all against them by, by now. Because that favoritism is the reason why I had to walk away. I was like, see, once you do that. Because <laughs> I promise. I promise all four of y'all, y'all was going to end up together, no matter what, okay? And I meant that, okay? Because I thought everybody was trying to pull us apart in the beginning while we were together. I thought everybody hating on us being around each other. I will never forget that, which is why I'm going so hard, because I know God's power, man, is real. While man pretend like he is, you know what I mean? So, like I say, men who go to war, they full of, they, they full of fear, right? That's why they go to war, because they escape. Otherwise, you would love your brother and your neighbor as yourself, man. Like, it's that simple, man. But when you want to play with evil and thinking you can overpower your brother and start humbling and loving your brother, oh, you're going to get a wake-up cut. God going to send you a delusion for you to believe. Since you don't want to believe he is the truth. Oh, he going to send you a delusion. Hey, something you already believe in. It. He going to add to it. Just a little bit to get you out of pocket. So the real one can get in place. Yeah, because you already know your evil, wicked heart not going to stop, repent, and turn to Jesus. You going to keep doing it. So, so he gonna remove you 
with a delusion that you gonna fall for, and the real person that belong there is gonna get put in place. Cookies, and, I, and don't say your brother didn't want in Jesus' name. Amen. So instead of getting mad at this man, Joe Biden, you need to get mad at yourself not putting Jesus Christ over Joe Biden. And let me remind y'all one more time. Barack Obama is not who you really think he is, man. He's not, man. Evil, wicked, man. That's what it is. Evil and wicked, man. He don't want nothing. He don't want Jesus to be heard of. He don't want Jesus to be glorified. He don't, man. You can tell by all the killing that happened in Chicago right after he got elected as president. Now, how you become president that was born or raised or whatever in Chicago, as soon as you leave Chicago, it become worse than Iraq. To the point they call it Chirac. Man, man. Y'all think I'm stupid. I know my pupils, right? I grew up around them. They raised me, and I helped raise theirs. You feel me? We got along. We fought. I know my people, man. And the first thing y'all good at doing is betraying your, your brother or sister. Not me. I was put in position to wake y'all up and stop doing it, man. And y'all had a problem with me because I told y'all, stop doing that around me, man. Or oh, period. At all. So, salute to those who take the time to get to know the truth, because the living God is active and moving, okay? Whipping evils behind, okay? So, happy birthday, DJ. I love you, man. Keep doing the thing. Keep doing your thing, man. Okay? Cause I, cause I know they own you the same way they was on me. <laughs> Trying to figure it out. How, how? Instead of just embracing the holy God, you feel me? Like, they, they really want to take credit where they have no, they belong in hell and they want credit. Imagine that. So, ain't no time to explain yourself to these evil and wicked. God, We'll do that, okay? Without explaining himself. He just show up and they start trembling. See, the truth makes you tremble, okay? It, it, man, y'all know I'm not lying, so. Be good, put the weapons down. Don't don't be a coward like these clowns out here, pretending like they real gangsters, real men when they not. See, a real shepherd don't have to label himself. He just do what needs to be done. That's what real men do. They don't talk about it. They just be about it. You feel me? So everything you didn't see me help with someone, please believe I was about doing it and not just talking. Okay? Because <laughs> people try to figure it out, bro. And I'm telling them, love your Lord and Savior. Like, you can't go wrong when you love Jesus. You can't. Even when it felt like something wrong, he still got you. He going to get you through that. But he needs you to feel what he felt going through this earth while he was doing what he was doing. That way you understand the knowledge and truth of your Lord and Savior and walk like your Lord and Savior. Because you said greater things y'all will do Greater thing you will see done too through you if you abide in him and his instructions, okay? Just, just be obedient to righteousness. It'll take care of the evil and wickedness. Good. And then that one. Peace. Left. Right.